Lesson 12.3, Classify and Count by Size. We classify and count objects by size by putting all of the larger objects into a category and the smaller objects into another category. We sort them by big and small. When we classify objects, we sort them into different sets by following a rule. We can classify objects by their size. Here we have a set for big and a set for small. We can sort these shapes by their size following the rule that all big shapes go on the left and all small shapes go on the right. Here we have two triangles. Which side do you think they should go on? If you said this goes on the big side, you're right. That's a big triangle. And this is a small triangle. Look at these squares. Let's move this so you can see it. Which side should this square go on? And which side should this square go on? If you said this is a big square, you're right. We can put it on the big side. And this is a small square. It's a very small square. We could put it on the small side. Look at these rectangles. Which side should this rectangle go on? Compare its size to this one. If you said this is the small rectangle, you're right. We can put it on the side with the small shapes. And this is a big rectangle. We can put it on the side with the big shapes. And here we have some circles. Which sides should they go on? If you said this goes on the small side, you're right. This is a small circle. And this is a big circle. This should go on the big side. So we can sort shapes into categories of big and small. Here we have two triangles. We have a big triangle. This is the word big. And here we have a small triangle. This is the word small. A category is a group or set. And we can sort and classify these triangles into different categories by their size. We have big and small. Their color doesn't matter. Their shape doesn't matter. Only their size is important. We put the big triangle under the word big. We put the small triangle under the word small. And there are other words that describe things that are big. We can use giant, huge, large, gigantic, massive. Those are all words that mean big. And there are other words that describe things that are small. Tiny, little, teensy, weensy, petite, and pocket-sized. And there's others. Do you have a big sister or a big brother? Do you know someone who has a big sister or big brother? She's big, he's small. And he's big and he's small. These shapes are sorted and classified into two categories, big and small. Remember, a category is a set. But there's a mistake. Can you see the mistake? What do we notice about this set? Well, these are all big shapes except for the triangle. And what do you notice about this set? Well, they're all small except for the triangle. And what can we do to fix the mistake? What would you do to fix the mistake? We can switch the triangles to their correct size category. We can move the small triangle to the small side and the big triangle to the big side. And now we fixed the mistake. Now we can count the big shapes and write the number. 
there are one, two, three, four big shapes. We can write the number four. We can count the small shapes. One, two, three, four, five. And we can write the number five. So remember, when we classify objects, we sort them. We sort them into a category. A category is a set or a group. And we can sort them into categories by their size, big or small. In our next lesson, 12.4, we're going to make a graph. I hope you have a really good day, and I hope you'll join me next time. And if you really think I'm doing a good job, please hit the like button to let other people know and to let me know. Bye.